I think my favorite part about coaching basketball, um, you know, I had a lot of good teams where a fourth grader could have coached them and they would have been good. But my favorite part was taking teams that probably should have won six or seven games and winning, you know, 13, 14, overachieving, I think. And, and not only with the teams, but with the players. You take a player that probably not a basketball player every day of the week, but, you know, you make him into a player that helps our team. That was, that was my favorite part about coaching. My first job ever um, that I got paid for was actually working on a marina that's a couple of miles up the lake. And uh, it was funny, I remember it because I was underage. I was like 13 or 14 and the same day they hired a guy that was, you know, a kid that was 16 or 17. And, you know, the owner said, what do you think you deserve for money? And I remember $2. And minimum wage at the time was like four, I think four bucks. So he gave the, uh, you know, the older kid minimum wage and he paid me two bucks. And the first day, you know, I worked my tail off. I think I actually, I mean, I'm thinking I worked circles around that older kid and I'm probably one of the few people that got a raise at the, at the end of his first day of work. And, uh, and that's, that's kind of stuck with me. And in, in my job, I believe that, uh, you know, a person shouldn't ask for raises. Um, if you're deserved a raise, I think, um, I know the sponsors that I have, uh, they see that and they, and they, you know, before I have to ask, they're, they're there offering. But, um, you know, I learned from that, if you work hard, uh, work circles around your, your buddy or your competitor or whatever, then hopefully you'll be rewarded with it. The worst motel that I ever stayed at, this, it's easy, that's an easy answer. I was, we had a week off between events and I decided to stay up north. Actually, back then I couldn't afford to fly home like I do now. Uh, that was a bite. Um, it was, in, it was at, uh, outside of Cayuga. And the reason that we didn't get a good hotel is because it was like move in week or something like that. But we, pull into this hotel and anytime you pull into a hotel and it's like $27 for a night, you probably a good idea not to stay there. But, um, you know, I remember how nasty it was and how I walked outside every, it felt like every five minutes to check and make sure that my stuff was there, was still there. It was just an uncomfortable, uh, situation. And, you know, now, <laughs> Thankfully, I don't have to stay in those, you know, I don't stay in those places anymore. But, you know, it's awkward to be laying in bed worried about not only is your boat going to be there in the morning, is your tackle going to be there, but are you still going to be alive? Um, you know, the area was good. It's not the area. It was just the, it was the area within the area.